Hey guys, this is Joette with Loon Coach, and today I am talking to you about taking five steps from inspired to thriving. And the reason that I'm talking about this is when this is being recorded, January 31st, 2022, I am just back from Float the Convention in Chicago. There were over 500 balloon professionals from around the world at this event, but due to COVID and social distancing, some people chose not to come to the event, and um, we're going to be seeing the replays a couple months after the fact. And then also back in November of 2021 was Balloon Coach, <laughs> the Balloon Boss Summit in Orlando. And then I have other people who are members of my Balloon Boss Mastermind program. And so what happens in life is we go through training or we see photos online or we see things that other people are doing and we get inspired and we're ready to dream big and go for our goals. And typically January 1 kind of is like a reset button and we're all excited and we hit the ground running and we're go, go, go. And then reality hits, right? So sometimes what happens is the goals that we set don't happen or obstacles are faced, or we're doing so well, we're overwhelmed with everything that's going on. So often what happens when we're trying to soar, things come to take us down back to the ground. So I want to talk about five steps to help you go from being inspired to getting into taking action and thriving. So I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly because what I want to do is answer your questions and get to the meat of things of helping you taking the next step for action. So what we're going to do is grab a pen and pencil and or pen and paper and ready to write a few notes. When we get excited, when we're inspired, we want to go after things, right? But then those obstacles happen. Maybe it's not that it's on a challenge course, but it could be a cash flow issue. It could be a health issue for yourself or family member. It could be that you experience a loss in your family. It could be that your business is growing so fast, you get overwhelmed and stop. It could be that the things that you are going for and you thought were going to be new clients don't happen. There's all kinds of obstacles that happen as we move forward. And so it's really important for us to write things down. So that's why I'm asking you to grab a pen and paper so that you can write these five simple steps down and then expand on them. So the number one thing that we want to do is we want to write down why do we have a balloon business? Because with social media, sometimes we see what other people are doing and we think that we should be living their lives, okay? But I want you to understand this is your life and your balloon business. All right, so I'm gonna share my why, and then you can write down what yours is and feel free to type it into the chat if you'd like. But I want you to be really clear as to why do you have a balloon business? So for me in 2003 is that I wanted to earn money being my own boss and not having to clock into an office. I was a social worker and I was burnt out. And I had a daughter who was four, <laughs> far left picture. That was our family doing balloons early on in my career in the balloon industry. And then on the right <laughs> is a picture of my family and I two years ago in um, for the out of this world photo op um, for Summit. So my daughter is now 22. She was with me in Orlando helping me out with Balloon Coach. But what happened is when I jumped into the balloon industry full time, I didn't realize that I was creating a really hard job. All right, because back in 2003, people weren't talking about team building and they weren't talking about how many people you can have working for you to make your goals reality. It really felt like you just had to work 24 seven. And so what I have done over the last seven years is put together resources to help you maybe not have some of the pitfalls that I had in growing my business. So we've got somebody on tonight that says they wanna be their own boss and to be at home with their kids. And so when you're thinking about that, when do you need to be home with your kids? Are you setting time off to go and do the activities with your kids and then either saying no to your clients during that time or are you finding someone else to do deliveries during that time that's for your family? Another person says they want flexibility and freedom to not be tied to a schedule. They also like to help people being creative while challenging themselves to learn new things. 
Another one is to be their own boss and to set up financial freedom. These are great goals. I love them. So here's the thing is I want you to be real clear and I want you to write on your piece of paper why it is that you are in this business. So let me just check something real quick. Um, so right now I have you guys set up where you are not being able to talk to me directly and you're not on camera. And then at the end of the presentation, we'll open it up for conversations. So um, everybody should be hearing me because I'm getting the responses back to the questions I'm asking. So, um, <laughs> all right, let me just check something real quick. All right, cool. Um, so another person says, I love being an entrepreneur for the growth and that it provides and being responsible for my income and being able to spread joy to others. Another person says they love to spread joy through balloons. Yeah, we have an amazing opportunity in the balloon industry that we create memorable moments and we get to do something that brings joy to the world. And that is uplifting and inspiring and fun. But the other thing that happens is sometimes we in that process um, work insane, crazy hours, right? <laughs> so I want you just to be real clear of why you're in business so that we can take this next step. So the next step is to write SMART goals. So if you were just at a training event or if you were at Summit back in November, or if you've been going through our training program online at Balloon Boss Mastermind and looking at the Thrive Guide and looking at the different marketing materials, I want you to think about the reason that you're in business and then what it is that you want in 2022 with your business. And when you write SMART goals down, when you write something on paper, it helps it to happen. And many times as creatives, we fail to write things down. I understand I was there back in 2003. I was just like, I want to make balloons. I want to make people happy. I don't want to be a social worker. Let's go have fun. I don't want to do charting anymore. I don't need to write it down. All right. But then what's happened is over the last seven years, I've invested thousands of dollars of going to training with top SEO and income earners around the world online and in person learning about business success and all of the top SE, um, CEOs that I learned from, there are a few things that they all do, and that is that they're clear on what their why is, and they write down their plan of what they want the future to be so that they can break it into pieces and get there. They always say, if you don't know where you're going, you're never going to get there. So I want you to write some SMART goals down. If this is not something you've done before, I want you to write this down. A SMART goal means that it's specific, that it's measurable, that it's attainable, that it's relevant, and it's time bound. So an example of a specific goal would be, I want to earn, um, I want to gain $10,000 of sales for February of 2022. Um, I want to, and so what I've done is I'm saying how much I want to do in sales, and I'm saying when it's going to be done by, right? And then it is an attainable goal because I do know people that do over $10,000 a month in sales. Is it relevant? Yes. Have a balloon business. So I want to sell those balloons and then time down. It gave a date of when I wanted to have it done by. Now, it could be that you have an annual goal that you have, or it could be that there's certain clients that you're wanting to reach out to. But the thing is, is when you are very specific in writing down how much money you want to earn in your pocket, or how many sales you want to do that will then generate a certain income for you. And when you set that time period of when it's going to happen, and that instead of just saying, I'm going to increase my income and just leave that open, saying, I'm going to increase my income by 20%, and then look at your numbers from last year and then see what that 20% increase is. Or it might be that you are working your business part-time because you work a full-time job outside of balloons, and that you're just wanting to make money to have for a family vacation, or that your money will help pay for um, a child's orthodontics, or it might pay for your child to go to college. Whatever is specific to you, writing those goals down that are SMART goals is going to help you get to that big picture, all right? Um, so, any questions on SMART goals? 
writing smart goals. It's taking this big thing of, ooh, I have a balloon business. <laughs> I wanna make people happy, but now let's be specific. I have some economic goals. I wanna make sure my electricity is not turned off, right? So I had to come up with a number of how much money I need to earn a month. And then I set a date by when I want to accomplish that. And then I am realistic with things um, because if you are bringing new to the industry, saying that you're gonna earn $30,000 in balloon sales in one month is probably unrealistic because you don't have a foundation set. But for people who've been in the business for several years, they can actually generate $30,000 in sales in a month. So I want you to look at your specific situation and write your goals down. And so many times with social media and with going to live events, we kind of look at what other people are doing and thinking we have to make that our goal. And so one of the things I love about Summit is I have people like Sarah Meyer with a bright balloon who works a full-time job, is a mom, and has a good balloon business that's doing the things that she wants it to do. But she's balancing that all together where other people are generating incomes of 200, 300, or over $500,000 of sales a year from their balloon business, working their business full time. And so sometimes when people are either not at a place where they want to generate that much money, they get kind of overwhelmed by those big numbers. And so they want to hear about the Sarah Meyer and other people who are not doing a huge, huge business, but they're doing well. So again, I want to make sure you understand that whatever your goal is from that you need to make an extra $500 a month to you want to generate over a half a million dollars a year in sales, it's totally up to you, but you just need to write it down in this smart method to know what it is that you're going after. All right. Number three, you got to take action steps daily. <laughs> and this is where things get hard because when we go to an event and we're removed from reality, we're in our own little balloon bubble and we're excited and we're revved up and we're pepped up and we're like, yes, but then we get home and we don't sleep well <laughs> or our kids get sick or a spouse gets ill um, or we have to deal with other things of being a human being, taking care of our house, um, taking care of our vehicles, a tire going flat, right? There's all these obstacles that happen or within our business with our clients, we have a client that backs out of an agreement or we have an event time and date that changes or we can't get in the balloon inventory we want. And so every day there's these challenges and obstacles that we're facing. And sometimes we're going to just stay on a hamster wheel running round and round in circles and not do anything new because the human body, we are made to often resist change. <laughs> and so to create a new habit or to do something that is different than what we've done, we often will do everything to get out of that. So when we talk about taking action steps daily is when you set a goal that you want to get out there and to get new corporate clients or new school clients or clients who will pay a higher per event tag, you now have to step into the role of marketing to people that you may not know. And that may be scary to you and uncomfortable. So that's where we go back to our SMART goals and we say, you know what? I'm wanting to increase the amount of corporate clients that I have. So now I have to go and have that SMART goal of going out and networking with the people that are those people that I wanna work with. And so each day I've got to pick up the phone, which a lot of times people don't like doing, or I need to go schedule a face to face meeting or go to a networking event um, or follow up with somebody that I've worked with in the past and ask them for a referral. And all of those things can be like, oh, I'm just going to put that on the side burner. I'm busy doing this other stuff. And so we forget to make time to take those new action steps. So number three is take action steps daily that are going to lead to success with those SMART goals, all right? Number four is to get training and support to overcome obstacles. So a couple of things I wanna let you guys know about is score.org, S-C-O-R-E dot O-R-G. Where you live, um, you can just go online and look this up and see if there's a score in your area. 
and look for sometimes free or very small price classes here in Lakeland. We have a lot of classes for like ten dollars um, and then other times they're free. You can also sign up to have a mentor. You can also get business training online. So S-C-O-R-E dot O-R-G. All right. Score.org. Another thing that you can look at is a small business administration. Um, there's also groups like American Business Women's Association, National Association of Women Business Owners. There are groups for event professionals. There's all kinds of organizations out there. And one of our folks is saying that SCORE is amazing. They have meetings all the time and they love them. So by being able to go outside of the balloon world and look at the other resources in your area from your chamber, to other business organizations, score.org or small business administration, you can get other tips on growing your business and then also build a network within the business community that makes you stand out from being just the balloon person. All right. When you take your business seriously and you get mentors in the business world, it helps you grow. Another person on today just says, I have a mentor and got my other professionals through references from them. Um, another person went to goal setting training the other day from their chamber. It was great. So here's the thing. When you go hang out with other business professionals in the area that you want to serve, you are building the know, like, and trust. You're growing your credibility as a business owner and you're making connections and those people that you meet then can become long lasting referral partners for the future for me it's exciting that i started in the industry in 2003 and now uh many of you know i sold my business back in 2015 to become balloon coach it's been seven years now um, but i still stayed on as the marketing person for party people events to kind of help him out with being the face in the community and even though I no longer officially work for the company on a regular basis, um, once a month I serve on the board for the um, the Polk County Wedding and Event Pros here in Lakeland, Florida. And so I still go out and network with business professionals that I met 15 years ago. But those relationships of seeing how those catering companies, how the bakeries, how the tank companies have grown over the years and those relationships we have allow them to be really strong referral partners for us. So it's really important for you to get out of your comfort zone if you're not used to going out with these other people <laughs> and then to rely on organizations like SCORE, SBA, or at ballooncoach.com, you can come to our annual event in Orlando or you can be a part of our Balloon Boss Mastermind Program where we give you the tools to help you grow your business and to help you reach your goals on a daily basis. But whether it's from me or someone else, making sure that you have some type of business support is key. And even if you are in our balloon coach programs, I highly encourage you to get connected locally and at least once a month, go to some kind of group, whether it's that there's a program being put on by your score group, or is it the chamber having a networking event or a lunch and learn program, getting out in your community is so important. And then number five, review your progress monthly okay review your progress monthly and here's what happens again sometimes months stink so for some folks january is a slow month and some balloon professionals actually go on a cruise or go on a vacation the first of january because they're resting up from all the craziness they had from new year's and they take the first couple of weeks of january to um go over their business and look at what their business plan is for the year review everything that happened last year put some new systems in place possibly hire new staff or put training in place so when you're ready to hire staff you're set and so um each month in our thrive guide and balloon boss mastermind what we do is we look at what was our numbers from last month um were they higher or lower than the year before do we want to increase them do we want to stay the same what was our what was our average for sales? Do we want to try to drive that up and get people to spend more money when they are calling us up? Um, but when you know your numbers and you review things on a monthly basis, you're going to know if you met those goals or if you had a goal to reach out to X number of past clients through a newsletter or an email or calling them up. You can tally that and track that in our Thrive Guide to see if you're being successful. 
or you can just do it in a notebook, right? If you're not in mastermind, you can just take a piece of paper and track your success and look at what did you do that month. And then you can reward yourself. If your person likes to get your nails done, maybe, you know, when you hit a certain um, level, you'll go get your nails done or go get a massage or go out for a special dinner, whatever is rewarding for you, but set rewards up so that monthly when you review things and you hit that goal, then reward yourself. And if you've got a team that you're working with, reward them and thank them for helping you make your goals reality. So, um, I'm getting a comment that my husband is my personal mentor. He started a business at 19 that is flourishing and he is my best friend. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Um, so, you know, when you can have somebody that's on your side that helps you support your business, it's golden. And if you don't have that support within your family, <laughs> what I encourage you to do is find other business professionals locally and um, outside of your local area to kind of help support you and mentor you because what happens is oftentimes our family members don't want to hear about balloons and sometimes our friends who work a regular nine to five job don't understand the spirit of an entrepreneur so surrounding yourself with uplifting like-minded people is super helpful so what i want to do is finish out the slides and then i'm going to open it up for you guys to ask questions so number one dreams become reality when you focus on your successes and plan for the future one of the great ways to take your written goals and really make them a reality is to put them in a vision board. We do this vision board training in our mastermind program, so I'd be glad to help you out with that. Um, the other thing is to remember to reach for the stars and dream big. Sometimes we have limiting beliefs from past experiences or other people who've talked in our head and said that we're not good enough. So believe in yourself that you have the tools that you need or the ability to gain new um, strengths and be able to increase your confidence by doing things one step at a time and know that you can make those um, dreams reality. Plan it out. Again, write it down, put it in your Google calendar, set time aside to do things and what you believe you can achieve. So when you let your dreams soar like a kite, you can go and see where it takes you. And it's just, you have to believe it in yourself that it's possible and then find the resources to help you get there. Um, it's always about taking one step at a time. Success is a journey and not a destination. So I want you just to remember this favorite quote from Henry Ford, and that is whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. And many times we'll look at other people and we'll say they've got more talent than we do. They've got um, better hair, whatever, like things are just easy for them. And we'll think that it's only for other people. But when you believe in yourself that you can do it, it's going to be more likely to happen, right? Because if you believe it, you're going to put steps in place. You're going to have the confidence to try new things and keep moving forward. So um, one other little tip I'm going to give you is about time blocking. We talk about this a lot of time with our Thrive Guide and Mastermind is that there's a book from um, Donald Miller, and it's called Business Made Simple. Love this book. I'm encouraging everybody to read it. Um, if you read it over 60 days, it gives you one little tip a day. You can read more if you like. It's also on audio. But our keynote speaker for Summit is a trainer for Business Made Simple, and I'm excited. She's a certified coach for them. And one of the things that he talks about is that when you look at your day, you want to put down no more than three things, okay? Put three things down, three tasks that you're going to accomplish, and then put them in your calendar. Time blocking is not about scheduling every single second of your day because it's impossible in the balloon industry because we get interruptions. We get phone calls. We get events rescheduled. We have families that we're dealing with. We have appointments to go to. So what it is is that you pick these three top things that you need to accomplish for the day. You're being realistic and making sure that they're attainable things. And then you're throwing it into your schedule like, you know what, Monday at 10 a.m. to 1020, I'm not answering the phone, I'm not looking at voicemail, I'm not looking at um, any of the notifications that come up on my phone, and for 20 minutes, I'm going to focus on my social media strategy for the week, and I'm going to program it in to auto for the rest of the week, all right? Or it could be, you know what? On Tuesdays at 11 o'clock, I'm going to make five phone calls to past clients to ask them, um, tell them about the services that we're currently offering, ask for them to book 
for the next um, event for next month. So it's blocking out those things, sometimes 10 minutes or 30 minutes. If you're a per person with attention deficit disorder, you want to make it even smaller blocks of time because for you sitting down for an hour doing one task is very difficult. So don't set yourself up for failure. Set yourself up that you're going to do things in 10 minute, 20 minute, maybe 30 minute increments and then get up, walk around, do something in your balloon area, maybe a symbol of balloon column and then go back and do another task. So you want to make sure that with time blocking that you're blocking out an appointment just like you would for a client but it's to get a specific task done that you know that you need and you can put it in your Google Calendar and get an alert and reminder to do it. So the last thing I wanna close on is a dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan and a plan backed by action becomes reality. And so that's why with ballooncoach.com, we have bracelets, we had magnets, and we had so much more at Float that says, take action, thrive. Because for you to build your thriving balloon business, you have to believe that you can do it. You gotta write down a plan, break it into pieces, and then daily take action, and then surround yourself with awesome people who are gonna cheer you on and support you on your journey. So that is in a nutshell, how you take what you learned at Float, Summit, Balloon Boss Mastermind, watching people online, that energy and excitement of being inspired by something and make it a reality for yourself. But what happens so many times is over time we forget what we've learned. And that's why Balloon Boss Mastermind exists because our human brain is only gonna remember the things that we actually take action on and do. And so one other little tip that I wanna give you from remembering things when you go to an event is they say, if you want to increase your memory, you need to write down notes while you're going to a class. You then need to teach someone else what you've learned and then do what you've learned, then talk to other people about what you did and then do it again. So a part of us remembering the things that we learn is taking action on them, right? Showing it to somebody else, um, showing it to your staff, talking to your family about it, and then processing it, and then maybe improving what you've learned. And it's okay that over time we forget things. That's why Balloon Boss Mastermind exists, is to kind of help people go and have a resource to look at that information again. And that's why we keep beautiful workbooks from events is to be able to look back and go, oh yeah, so-and-so taught me this cool technique. I need to go back and see what that recipe was. Oh yeah, Jackie saw, Jackie showed me this really cool thing. I need to go see how she made that cappuccino and then open it up and back and look at the recipes. So I hope that helps. So guys, what I wanna do now is we're still recording and I'd love to answer questions that if you have a question right now, I'm sure somebody else does too. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and allow you guys to unmute. So you can type and let me know if you have a question. Um, one of our folks watching tonight says, I started the Business Made Simple audio plan on listening and then listening again and again and taking notes. It's very interesting. So yeah, so for those of you who are coming to Balloon Boss Summit in Orlando in 2022, um, our coach actually did, our keynote speaker did an, a bonus training with us in January that's been recorded. So all the people who are jumping in with their um, 10 pay plan, because today's the last day of it, or they're buying it in full um, later on or one of the other payment plans. Um, what's exciting is you'll be able to get access to that store in 2022 presentation and a really cool assessment that you can take because we're customizing all of our training that's at Summit 2022. So thanks for that. Can you show number three again? My internet was wacky, of course. So I'll go ahead and I'll just go through all of them real quick. So number one is why do you have a business? Number two is to write SMART goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. And then number three is take action steps daily <laughs> because so many times we get stuck in a rut and we are just gonna go back to our old ways of doing things and what you wanna do is when you're looking at your goals is that you want to break things down and do something that might be different than you were doing before. Because if you're wanting a new result that you haven't ever had before, you're gonna to have to do something new. 
um, that you may have learned at one of your trainings or from someone else. You are most welcome. So number three is taking those action steps daily. Four is getting training and support to overcome your obstacles. And then number five is to review your progress monthly and then repeat the process. So the bottom line is, is it's so cool to get inspired and up on fire and ready to go. But sometimes that bonfire can start to fade until there's just a little teeny burning ember. And so we've got to have other people support us and uplift us to help take those action steps. So um, is there any other questions you guys can go ahead and um, I'm going to go on here and unmute if you guys want to. And you can go ahead and turn on your cameras if you like. So uh, if there's any other questions you guys have for me, please let me know. I'm looking through the notes. Um, somebody had messaged me personally. Um, one of the people is asking me about uh, Mastermind. And if you're interested in any of my programs, just go to ballooncoach.com. Mastermind is $97 a month and you do, it's not a contract. You can stay one month or you can stay for years. It's totally up to you. And um, so, yeah, all that information is at ballooncoach.com. Hello, Miss Peggy. All right, so guys, I'm going to make it so you all can unmute. We are still being recorded because if there's a question that you have that you think other people may have too, go ahead and ask them. And then you can... Isabel said, best money I invested in my business each month is the Mastermind program. Thank you. Oh, wow. Eleni is saying, worth every dollar, Mastermind is a blessing. Um, yeah, there's just, it's been recorded for the last seven years. <laughs> and it's all of the verbiage that I used to grow my business and to build connections. And then we've got over 40 instructors from around the world who shared things that have worked well for them. Um, so that's all great. So guys, let me know, do you have any more questions about what I've talked about today with the five steps from inspired to thriving? It might be that there's an action, an area that you get stuck in, like making action steps or breaking down your goals. Hi, Miss Bobby. Hi. Yay. Yay. Any questions this evening, Miss Bobby? No, I'm just so overwhelmed right now because I'm trying to get motivated. So this was a good day to start. <laughs> Yay. And here's the thing, guys, it's life. I mean, life can really stink sometimes and drag us down um, with so many things that can happen in the world. And so what I always encourage people to do is just start from today and just it's a fresh slate every day. And I, a lot of times I tell them mastermind, you're like, Mondays is my favorite day of the week because I feel like you're getting this reset button, right? Like it's a new week. Let's go for it. And so for me, Sometimes being able to go out and watch the sunrise helps me feel more energetic, but whatever it is for you, it might be that you like to read. It could be that you like to dance or listen to music. It might be that you like to walk or jog or yoga. So one of the other things in this whole process is to make sure you're building something into your day that's going to help you get going. And if there's something that you know makes you more energetic by doing it first thing in the morning so that you can have a better day, then do that even if it's only for five minutes pick out kind of a daily routine that helps you feel good when you get up. Um, and Isabel says, go Bobby, you can do it. <laughs> I see that. Thank you, Isabel. We've got to have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So guys, I still have the recording going. So if there's anybody that has a success story that you would like to share of when you've written down your goals, and when you've taken action on them and how that's helped you out, I would love for you to share that success um, because sometimes that helps inspire other people to write down the goals and to create those little smart steps or to reach out for training. Um, so feel free to share one of those if you'd like. Let's see. And I'm gonna ask people to unmute, but you don't have to unmute if you don't want to. So I don't have the ability to physically unmute you. Um, yeah, well, hello, who's this? This is Stacy. Hey, Miss Stacy. Um, I will say I think it's really important to share your goals with your team and to encourage them and to uh, chart away. Um, right now, I'm down a team member or two, so I feel like my goals are just 
you know, not feeling as rejuvenated, but um, I like Mondays too. I like that opportunity to reset. So I'm going to make sure I reprint the Thrive Guide so that I can um, go on and do that. But I know when I set my goal with my team, you know, every time we got a call, I was like, remember, we got that $5,000 goal for the month. So we want to try to get it going. And, you know, and since I know I'm a closer on a sale, I usually tell them just take all the facts down and encourage them to go to the website and I'll finish the rest. And um, I feel like now I'm doing it all. So I feel a little overwhelmed, but I know for certain writing down and sharing your goals definitely help. Cool. And so, Stacy, what I'm going to encourage you to do is as you build your team, since right now you're the only one closing the sale, is over time, I want you to write a script of what you say to people and how you offer things to people and where you're finding those resources. Mm -hmm. Because one of the coolest things about when I sold my business was I was able to see what it was like for a team to be party people rather than just being me and a couple people on the side. Because over time, Jonathan had somebody answering the phone all the time and being that front facing person with our clients. And then over time, he taught her about the balloon lingo. And she now, Ginger, is a part owner in his company. And she is the one that handles all of the big sales. So like in Orlando, when we did those $5,000, $10,000 and up events with big event um, programs, she's the one that sold those jobs. It wasn't him. He didn't have anything to do with it. And then now on our Polk County side, um, where my part of the business had been, he has another person that answers the phone. And he, what he's done is over time created those pricing lists and use all the information in QuickBooks where both of those ladies can just go right in and go, oh yeah, 30 foot arches this much money, two 10 foot arches is this much. And so they're able to go in and propose things to the clients and send out those and get the invoices. And then he just goes and does the job. So. I just want to encourage you that there is a way to get that over to his, another person. It just takes some time and showing them what you're doing and then getting that written information down on your pricing and then kind of letting people know like what the basics are that you typically would do for certain events. And then, and then you can just be the add on person rather than having all that on yourself. <laughs> okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So, um, Let's see, I'm going to go up here. We've got several different questions going on. All right. Wow, lots of great stuff. One is I'm not a goal writer downer, but I did write down three for the first of the business. Launch a website. And I lost the other ones. <laughs> I think they went somewhere else. Um, only working balloons. Um, <clears throat> two days per job and then get a van. I have four young kids, so we're wanting a big van anyways. Um, yeah, so it's awesome when you write down those goals, it helps them become reality because you're putting it out there to the world. So that's awesome. Um, another tip that came up for those of you who have not heard of the Bright Balloon, the Bright Balloon with Sarah Meyer has an amazing podcast. It's very uplifting. So when you guys get down in the dumps, go to the website and then you can look through the different topics and pick a topic that you want to listen to. Her voice is light and bright and fun and cheerful and she's realistic. And my husband, my husband actually enjoys listening to our podcast. Um, we're on road trips now. He even asked to do it, which is hysterical. Um, but he just like, I like the way she presents the material. She's funny. She's real. She tells you the stories that happen. And so it's cool. So she wrote this awesome book that is the Business Planner 2022. So if you haven't gotten it yet, you can actually get it online um, and either download it or you can have this shipped to you. Um, I encourage you guys to do this because it's a really great tool and it goes long well with my Thrive Guide because this is like looking at everything at the year and then the Thrive Guide is breaking it down by the month and the week. So I, I encourage you guys to check that out. So great tip that you had there, Amy. Um, let's see. One of my goals for this year is sending out monthly newsletter. I only sent them out last year twice because I was busy. I'm working on a template for each month this year and scheduling them to send out automatically. February and March are done, scheduled, and working on April and May tomorrow. Excellent. Congratulations. Wow. Those are great things to do. And then for those of you who are in the mastermind program, I do have a basic template just to show you some how easy it can be that it doesn't have to be over the top and crazy. Um, and showing you all those 
little tips of things that you can use or you can pull out graphics from our editable templates that you can put into your newsletters. But the bottom line with a newsletter, it's just letting people know what you offer. We sell what we share. So tell people what you want to sell them and when they need to um, contact you by. So you're basically giving them an action step for them to complete and a timeline as to when they need to do it. Congratulations, that's awesome, Tiffany. Um, let's see, Isabel said, in one of the trainings, someone said to practice on the clients that you are least interested in. So maybe you can have your staff close the sales on some of those. Yeah, so if when you're going through this process of like, trying out a sales script or approaching somebody that you don't know, like a cold call. If you make a list of the people that you want to work with, but like put the people that are like the least important on the bottom, <laughs> you know, the, the people that you don't think are going to buy anyway, or they're people that you really don't want to work with, try out with them first to get used to talking to them. So when you stumble, it's okay because you weren't really going after that sell anyway. So that was a good one, Isabel. Um, let's see. I wrote down a list of my goals and saved it as a screensaver. Um, resigning with my job with the IRS by March was one, and I met my sales goal consistently for a couple of months and officially resigned last week. Congratulations, that's awesome. Um, writing it down and constantly seeing it kept her motivated to reach it. So yeah, um, we made a template in um, Canva also in our mastermind program, and we also gave it out on a free webinar that Lenore, one of our alumni from Summit made, and it's a Canva template to make your vision board. So if you guys need that link, you can always send me a private message and I'll make sure you get that. And then Zippy is asking, does anyone teach QuickBooks? So um, our marketing, or not our marketing, our financial pros, Elizabeth and Joe Fiore, they actually have a bookkeeping system on QuickBooks and they have their own Facebook group that talks about a lot of the bookkeeping that's really good. And then also in my, mastermind program and on my um, YouTube channel, there are a couple of um, links from them from free webinars that they did. Um, and I know that there was somebody else that told me the other day that they were working on that. Send me that as an email and I'll see if I can remember the other person who said they were going to help out with QuickBooks training. A lot of people say they love the Bright Balloon podcast. I agree. It's awesome. And then for people who speak Spanish, I personally don't speak Spanish, but um, Tammy and Charlie um, from Summit, they are both great um, bilingual and they are in all my programs. And so they sometimes can help people with um, being able to communicate in Spanish. All right. So guys, what I just want to remind you to do is each day, write down the top things that you want to get done for the day, lock it into your schedule, set your alarm. So when it goes off now, if there's some emergency that's going up, then you might need to reschedule it. But by blocking it into your schedule, it's more likely to happen and be realistic with it that you're not going to put up a hundred social media posts at once, but you might be able to plan a week's worth in 20 minutes if you focus in and don't let any other distractions get in your way. And um, as you have a need, <laughs> ask questions that's what balloon coach community my open group and then balloon boss mastermind my training group are for is for you to be able to help um people hang out um isabel says that she speaks spanish and she loves meeting spanish-speaking balloon artists so um julia that's another person that you can reach out to thank you isabel appreciate that greatly All right. So um, guys, just a reminder, um, what I'm going to do is just like I do for my regular programs is when I'm online doing a training, I like to reward the people who are on live by turning off the recording, allowing them to ask other questions that have nothing to do with the topic at hand or to dive deeper into the topic that they wouldn't want to talk about on a recording. So what I'm going to do now is remind you guys if you want to come to summit or if you want to be a part of balloon boss mastermind go to ballooncoach.com and click on the buttons you can also schedule a free 10 minute consultation with me to see what program is the right fit for you um, i love our summit program because we have 25 instructors and only 100 um, attendees and as i record this we are over 60 percent um, sold out for 2022 which is super exciting with 10 months to still go yeah. 
Um, yay! <laughs> it's super exciting. And then my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, we do allow people to continue to um, join that um, when you need to and then leave when you need to. So you can, it's not a contract. So just wanted to let you know that those support systems are there for you. Um, so Andrea, what are you interested in? Do you have a question before I turn off my recording? <laughs> it might be something somebody else has. Um, so yeah, if you want to, any more information on either one of those programs, um, yeah, so for Summit, our 10 month payment plan, if you'd like to break up your payments is expiring today, January the 31st. So you can go online to get that set up or you can email me right after joette at ballooncoach.com. Um, and then any other information is always at ballooncoach.com. All right, so I'm gonna stop the recording now. For those of you watching as a replay, I hope you enjoy the information.